So you all know me, I almost never talk about celebrity stories unless it kind of crosses into the realm of politics, but I have to make an exception for this story. I want to talk about the slap that was heard around the world. Now, uh, I'm not going to play the video for you. Odds are you've seen it multiple times. I don't know if it violates YouTube's terms of service, so we won't take any risks, but you all know what happened. Chris Rock made a joke about Will Smith's wife. Will Smith subsequently walked onto the stage of the Oscars, slapped him right across the face, and then screamed at him, keep my wife's name out of your mouth. Now, um, I did not watch this live. I had no idea that this was going on. So I log on to Twitter and then I see everyone talking about this. It's trending. Um, and my initial reaction was that it was staged, right? Uh, because this is an award show. Sometimes maybe they'll do skits. And when I saw that Will Smith was laughing at the joke that Chris Rock made, I thought, okay, he's in on the joke. They're both doing this bit. And, you know, Will Smith slapped him so hard that I thought there's no way that Chris Rock would be able to just absorb that blow. Um, and then when Will Smith walked away, you know, he was kind of smirking a little bit. But then when I realized it was absolutely not staged, when it was 100% real, was when Will Smith was yelling at Chris Rock. Um, that's when I realized wait a second, this is actually 100% real. Because Chris Rock's reaction was so bizarre to me. Like if I were slapped in the face in front of millions and millions of people, I don't think that I would be able to just brush it off that easily. Um, he said, Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. And that made me laugh. So I thought, okay, this is all fake. But watching it back, you know, you realize, oh my God, this is actually real. Will Smith just slapped Chris Rock across the face. What do you even say to that? That's, that's insane. Now, I have so many thoughts on this, I actually made bullet points. Um, so, for me, wondering how Will Smith went from laughing at the joke to then getting outraged to the point where he'd physically assault someone on national television, um, I think that Benjamin Dixon had a tweet that really explained it well. He said, I watched it again, and truth is, it looked like Will laughed at the joke himself while Jada was pissed. I could be wrong, but it seemed more like, oops, let me make up for it. Bingo. Bingo. Um, I think that that's what's happening there. Now, I'm going to tell you my thoughts on it, but just to give you a little bit of an update to the situation, apparently Chris Rock will not be filing a police report, although there is this possibility that Will Smith could lose the award that he won later that night. But some have pointed out that Harvey Weinstein, for example, has never had any of his awards revoked for doing much, much worse. So it doesn't seem like that is the best form of accountability. Just, you know, at, at face value. Now, during the commercial break following that incident, Will Smith was apparently talking to his publicist and there were other celebrities that were seen uh, comforting Will Smith as Scott Feinberg of The Hollywood Reporter explains. During the commercial break, Will Smith is pulled aside and comforted by Denzel Washington and Tyler Perry, who motioned for him to brush it off. Will appears to wipe tears from his eyes as he sits back down with Jada, uh, with Denzel comforting Jada and Will's rep by his side. You can also see um, a better image here of Bradley Cooper with Will Smith seemingly comforting him. This is courtesy of Getty. And as I see all of these celebrities comfort Will Smith, as I see him win this award and then get a standing ovation, my thought was, did anyone check in with Chris Rock? Because he just got slapped across the face really hard. So is there anyone that's kind of by his side saying, hey, you're doing okay. You still have this show to host. So, I mean, I, I was just wondering about that. And, and again, I'll tell you my thoughts in a second, but I just want to get through all of this first. Um, my favorite part about this is the insane political aspect that people are trying to shoehorn in. So you, you had Max Blumenthal of the Gray Zone suggesting that maybe this was a false flag operation orchestrated by... I, guess the CIA. On top of that, you have Dave Rubin bringing in the supposed woke elements. Take a look. You know, we could also add like the weird woke element of race to this. So it was black on black violence, which people obviously treat a little bit differently. I suspect that if Matt Damon had gotten out of the crowd, very pasty white Matt Damon had gotten out of the crowd and smacked Chris Rock, we'd be, there would be riots in the streets. Oh my God, just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Um, you know, I disagree with some of the takes here, but that's the dumbest take 
um, the false flag operation, definitely the, the most bizarre unhinged take. But in terms of my thoughts on the situation, um, okay, the joke was bad. The joke was not good at all. And I feel like celebrities don't even try anymore. Comedians rather don't even try anymore. So uh, Jada Pinkett Smith has, uh, I guess, talked about her struggle with alopecia and she shaved her head. So, you know, it's a sensitive issue. And for Chris Rock to joke about that, it's, it's pretty gross. But then the joke wasn't even good. You joked about her being the star of G.I. Jane 2. What even is that joke? And I feel like comedians nowadays, they just don't try. Uh, there was another joke throughout the night where Amy Schumer joked about don't look up and said, hey, don't look up the reviews. I mean, Amy Schumer, have you been in any movie that's been good ever? I mean, every single thing that I see her in, she's insufferable and overly pretentious. So, I, I mean, comedians just don't try. They don't try, and they're insufferable 99% of the time. Having said that, though, was that response warranted? No. Under any circumstance, I don't care what you say as a comedian, you shouldn't walk up on stage and slap someone. What the fuck were you thinking, Will Smith? And I say this as someone who's been a very huge fan of Will Smith all throughout my life. All um, throughout my childhood, as I was growing up, Will Smith was an idol to me. I was a fan of everything he was in. The Fresh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Men in Black, Wild Wild West, everything. Huge fan of Will Smith. But still, fan or no fan, I can put aside my feelings of him and how talented he is and say Will Smith... You can't do that. You can't slap someone. Why? What made you think that was acceptable? Now, I don't think that he thought this through, right? It was the heat of the moment. He saw that his wife was hurt, perhaps, or was trying to do, I don't know, damage control after his wife saw him laugh at the joke. So he walked up on stage, slapped Chris Rock. I mean, first of all, it's bizarre to me that he was able to just walk back to his seat and then enjoy the rest of the show how was he not kicked out by security how was he just there after that i mean if it was anyone else who wasn't a mega wealthy celebrity they would have been kicked out like if i attended a comedy show and i walked up on stage and slapped the fuck out of the comedian on stage i would be kicked out I would probably go to jail, but because it's a celebrity, he can get away with it. But what's also bizarre when you introduce this element of class is that, well, Chris Rock is also a celebrity and celebrities, they look out for their own, right? It's part of this club. This whole thing is like an elitist circle jerk. But so was Chris Rock not signaling for security during the commercial break, at least to get him the fuck out because he just slapped me. I don't want him here because what if he tries to slap me again? I mean, he's very clearly unhinged and I hit a nerve. But I mean, he just slapped me. Why is he still here? If I slap someone, wouldn't somebody, you know, uh, have a question about that or think maybe you shouldn't be slapping someone, but because it's Will Smith, we make an exception. No, fuck out of here. So um, this whole situation is so weird to me. And I tried to put myself in Will Smith's shoes. I don't know anyone with alopecia. So, you know, I'd imagine that that would be a really hurtful joke, especially if it's made about someone that you love. Uh, but trying to change the context to see if I could rationalize his behavior there. So what if I were there in the front row and Chris Rock made a joke about me that was really homophobic and just not even funny, just really gross and below the belt? Would I still think it was acceptable to walk up on stage and slap him across the face? No, I would not because I'm an adult and you don't fucking just assault people who say things that hurt your fifis. That's not what grown-ups are supposed to do, right? Not okay. Now, you can get me to accept a slap and justify it if we change the context a little bit more. Like, if it was Henry Kissinger on stage, a mass murderer, or Donald Trump. Okay, if somebody walked up on stage and slapped him across the face, I wouldn't care. But when we're specifically talking about jokes and we're limiting it to things that hurt people's feelings not okay not okay at all now i will say that you can tell that will smith knew that he fucked up and probably regretted it later on because i mean how embarrassing you know you react irrationally you lose your temper and you slap someone across the face now you know the following day is going to be everyone talking about this you're going to look like an imbecile 
And, you know, he probably realized that he fucked up. Now, when he accepted his award, he said, love will make you do crazy things. Sure, I, I think that that's, that's something that does happen. But that doesn't justify what you did. You should be publicly apologizing to Chris Rock. You know, you can say Chris Rock also owes Will Smith an apology because that joke wasn't funny. And, you know, this is a sensitive subject for his wife. But to slap someone over a fucking joke? No, not okay. Not okay. And I like Will Smith. But I mean, in my opinion, this kind of ruins him. He goes down in my book because of this. Because, you know, I always thought that Will Smith was somebody who, you know, was just, he wouldn't do something like that. I always thought of him as this really cool guy, jokey, and, you know, he would be able to contain his emotions, but apparently not. Chris Rock, however, just fucking, I don't know how he contained his emotions. Again, his joke was stupid, but he didn't deserve to be slapped over it. And the way that he just absorbed the slap again, I've got to I've got to talk about that. It's insane to me. It's like if you storm into the first boss in Elden Ring, Margit, and you know you've got no, uh, you you got a shitty you know weapon, you're not leveled up at all, and you try to attack Margit. He just absorbs the blow. That's what we saw there. Bad comparison. Most of you won't get that, but you know uh, Will Smith was a level one, and uh, Chris Rock was a level ninety nine, and you're gonna have to level up to actually affect him now i will say that slap was so hard that if will smith closed his face uh, or closed his fist and hit uh chris rock in the face he probably would have knocked him out because that was a really hard slap and again we're showing the still image on the screen right now not going to show the video but that was a hard slap so i just it's so bizarre to see something like that um i don't know what else to say i'm obviously against it i think that violence is not acceptable um and yeah that what else left is there to say uh, i think that will smith should be ashamed of himself he should be apologizing to people and denouncing violence um and uh yeah anyone who tries to excuse this sorry this is inexcusable it's unjustifiable again the joke was gross the joke was disgusting but what's worse than a joke is physically assaulting someone. You you can't do that. That's that's not okay. So, yeah, there's my two cents for what it's worth. Um, bizarre. Very surreal thing to witness. I kind of wish that I was tuning in live because I wouldn't know how much more of an impact that would have made on me. But I don't think I've ever watched the Oscars live. I just feel like it's so boring and I hate celebrities. It's like this elitist circle jerk. And to see them there in their fancy clothing uh, getting people to take pictures of them, everyone fawning over them. I, I just hate it. Like, it it feels really gross and classist to me. But, um, you know, this is one that I certainly wish I would have tuned in for because, holy shit, that is fucking insane. And Will Smith, unhinged, do fucking better. What's wrong with you? When you acting like a baby.